I pushed you on the ground! What is going on guys? Thanks for stopping by. My goal with today's video is quite frankly to prove to people that they don't know what they're getting into when they actually first meet a girl. Oftentimes, what happens is you'll meet this chick and the first thing she does as a girl is to analyze you, right? And that's what guys do too, right? You meet somebody and the first thing you do is you say, wow, okay, like I'm gonna go through this point, this point, this point, and you're gonna evaluate her benefits, her, you know, positive, negatives, negatives, whatever, right? And that's what girls do too. They'll, you know, they'll look at a guy and they'll say, okay, this is who he is, this is what he likes, this is what he's interested in. And the next thing they'll do is they'll put on a mask, right? So they'll speak to your emotions, they'll say the things that you want to hear. And when you're a guy and you see this, you'll be like, wow, this, this girl's not like the rest of them and you know, maybe she'll actually turn out to be a good girlfriend. So inevitably you'll start dating her and six months later, wow, okay, <laughs> things change. That mask comes off and the girl that you thought you knew in the beginning turns out to be someone completely different. And then what happens in the relationship is things start going sour because the, the feelings that you had originally for that girl are changing, right? Because it's a different person entirely. What that girl was like six months ago is completely different because this is you're now dealing with a new person and the feelings you have towards this new person are different than the feelings you fell in love with in the beginning. And the truth is, the only way to avoid this is honestly just not to get into relationship and relationships in the first place. But for a lot of guys, that's not really an option because they want to and they want to have a family. And my only advice in that respect is to just, you know, go through a massive vetting process, right? You have to be sure of the girl before you fully commit, right? Anyways, I'm going to show you guys this video and hopefully this is going to persuade a lot of you not to date crazy or at least, you know, take precautions. So enjoy the video, guys. Can you please leave? Open the door. Why would I? You just punched me in the face. You punched me, you bitch! You punched me in the face first! What do you want me to do? Burn. You're okay, I didn't punch you, I pushed you, you on the ground! Me How fucking dare you! You hit me in the face! You punched me down! No, I didn't! Yes, you yeah, did! Yeah, after you hit me in the fucking cheekbone! You pushed yeah, me Yeah, you see it? You're bigger than me, you dumb yeah, that's why I didn't punch you. I pushed you on the ground to get you away from me. Well, fuck you up. Get off my property. Open the fucking door. Call the cops. Go ahead. Open the door. No, you're fucking nuts. Open the door. No, go away. Open the door. This is ridiculous. Up the stairs in the back. I have no idea what she's doing. It doesn't lead to this house. Oh my god, what do I deal with this? Right there. Yeah, look at that one. Defend myself. Why should I? Why? When you calm down. Why? Why would I? Open the door! It's punching the face. I end up in the freaking door. Quit banging on my door! Open no! Open it! Yo! I ain't dealing with this anymore. Look at you. Look at you. I ain't dealing with this. Can you get in your car and leave, please? The fucking door, you piece of shit. Open it. Why should I? 
Open Why? Open Why? Open it. So you can do what? I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I don't. We can talk later after work. No. Yeah. No. You piece of shit. Go ahead, break the door down. Open the door. So I can take you to cops and have you pay for it. Open it. No, nah, I want to get you on video breaking it down. Go ahead. Open the door. Breaking and entering. Open the door. Go away. Open. Go the away, door. please. Can you stop banging on the door? Open it, bitch. Fucking open it. <sighs> Just gonna sit here and bang on the door all day long. All because of a jacket. No, Ron, because you fucked my cousin. <laughs> you fucked your ex and you fucking hooked up with Anthony. You bragged your friends about me on some blonde and my cousin. My fucking cousin. Well, if you can't get over it, then we shouldn't be together. I'm sorry, what? Then we shouldn't be together. Can you please leave? No, open the door. No. Open the door. Uh, no. Open the door. No. Shut for my own fucking safety. Really? Yeah, really? cause you're nuts. I'm shorter than you. I'm not nuts. It's you, Ron. You pushed me first. I did not. You me first. I'm defending myself, so fuck you. You punched me in the face. Yeah, well you shoved me down to the ground. I didn't shove you down to the ground before you hit me. Really? Cause you pushed me out on the stairs before too, Ron. Remember that? I tried carrying you at the house cause you wouldn't leave. No, you weren't. Yeah, and then I tripped and we both fell. You remember? Cause I remember it clearly. You're a woman abuser and that's all you'll ever be. Cause crazy bitches like you turn me out to be a fucking woman abuser. Go spread rumors around. You know how small the county is. What? Go spread rumors around the small ass county. I don't really care. That's bullshit. Because I actually heard it from your fucking ex. Oh uh, yeah, which one? Laura. What'd she say? She said you fucking hit her, and you admitted it to me. Right? I asked her, and she said I never hit her. Hit her. Really? You yeah. Hit her. Call her right now. I don't have her number. Open the door. I never hit her. Open the door. No. Why? Open the fucking door. Go away. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I'm done with this shit, sir. Well, I was done with it last night when you were being a little fucking prick. Then why'd you come back over? Because I want my fucking shit. You couldn't tell you got your shit. Now leave. I want to fucking talk to you. Talk to me about what? No, Ron. I want to talk to you about this whole fucking relationship. <sighs> this whole fucking situation. And you refuse to. Why would I want to? You're going to come in here and destroy shit and try punching me again. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Well, I ain't opening the door so you can leave. You can leave. And you fucking deserve it. You can leave. Open the door. I'm calling the fucking cops. They'll probably think it's fucking my fucking mistake. Because it's always the fucking guy's fault until I see this fucking crazy psycho. Trying to crawl through my fucking window. Look at her. Then open Leave. the door. Open the door. Leave. Open the door. Leave. Talk to me. I will call the cops. No, Leave. Talk to me. I'm calling them. Why can't you fucking talk to Why me? Why can't you be normal? Why can't you be a fucking adult and talk to me, you dumb piece because of shit? Because you scream at me and you call me dumb piece of shit because I have your fucking jacket open here fucking that you're too door. fucking lazy to come open get. The, that I you fucking left here. I that you left my, here. I got my jacket. Well, take your keys and leave. Open the door. Thanks. Fucking crazy. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous.
Oh man, we're we'll coming to the fucking house. Yeah, I pushed her on the floor because she fucking hit me in the face. It wasn't even that hard of a push. Fell on carpet, oh jeez. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> You're nuts! <laughs> You're crazy. Why? Why would I? You just punched me in the face. I'm gonna kill myself. Then I'm calling your fucking mom and the cops. <laughs> uh, here she goes. There's the door all busted up. Awesome. Dad's gonna yell about that one. I don't even fucking lock. <laughs> 